you know, self-care is so important. I, and I think that's something that what you're touching on is to help. Is it women that you focus on mostly? Or? Mostly women. Yeah. Mostly yeah. women are my clients and um, is because they like to, you know, with weight loss, weight management, and even we're talking about healthy aging, all of that is usually, you know, women are more concerned with that, I guess you can say. <laughs> right. We're so used to taking care of everybody and not ourselves. Right. Yes. Uh, yes. We kind of put ourselves second. So I think that's a good point. So how is it the best way to create a habit? You know, what do you recommend to create a better um, lifestyle habit you're saying with, with your eating? Right. Um, well, first of all, um, I always like to think of, for everyone to think of the analogy of if you're on an airplane and you lose cabin pressure, you're always told you have to put the mask on yourself first before right. you put it on your child. So that's how I like to think of self-care is, you know, you're not being selfish if you put yourself first. In fact, there's more of you if you take some time out every day to focus on yourself. You're a, a better mom, you're a better wife, everything, just to, you know, have that time for yourself. And so, you know, the best way for self-care, number one, is to make sure that you're getting enough sleep. That's important for self-care. Um, you know, like you had mentioned that we always, as women, typically put ourselves dead last on the list, we take care of everybody else in the family, <laughs> and then we are dead last. So we may not get that much sleep. And then if you're not getting enough sleep, you're already setting yourself up that day to not have a very good day. So, you know, try to get the seven to eight hours of sleep, first and foremost, and then try to just as you're eating during the day, eat at regular intervals. Like, you know, don't go over, I would say anywhere over four hours is not a good thing, okay. especially as we're getting older. As we're getting older, our, um, it, our, it's just natural process. Our, it's not as easy to process insulin. So our cells can become more resistant to it, especially if we're not eating on a regular basis. And you'll actually feel more energy if you're eating on a regular basis. You know, and you can have, you know, some people proponents of three meals a day, some are, you know, eat five smaller meals a day. You know, whatever you do, you know, just make sure that you're you're eating on just regular intervals. Um, and also make sure that you're eating, you know, lean proteins, healthy grains, and like your whole wheat, your brown rice over over white 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 rice. <laughs> white rice. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you know your whole wheat pasta over a, a white pasta, and then lots of fruits and vegetables. So that that will keep you healthy as well. And drink your water. Water is very important too. Stay hydrated. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, take some time for yourself and exercise, find something that you like to do, or don't even call it exercise, call it playing. Like if you like to play a sport or anything like that, have that as your, your time out of you know, having fun, doing something you enjoy. And that's just part of self-care. If you only have a half an hour a day to do something that you like to do, make sure that you do that. And I recommend you do it maybe in, in first thing in the morning, just, just bef before you're crazy schedule if you have a mom with a mom with uh, younger kids right that in before they wake up yeah. I, 